government has always expressed its commitment to dialogue as a means of resolving our internal differences. We have demonstrated this by our individual and collective efforts at holding consultation at all strata of our society. To some persons, General Sani Abacha, Nigeria's seventh military head of state, was a no-nonsense brutal dictator. But to others, he was a good man. In this episode, we bring to you the good side of Sani Abacha, having recently brought to you the bad side of the same man. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. During his regime, Abacha created six additional states for Nigeria. The states were Eboi, Bayelsa, Nasarawa, Gombe, Ekiti, and Zamfara states. For citizens of these states, Abacha was a good man who came to their aid at a time they did not expect. The creation of a unique identity for them could only be done by a man of goodwill. During his tenure, Abacha refused to take foreign loans. He carried on with the construction of infrastructure in the whole of Nigeria without loan. He resisted every invitation to take loans, though the IMF and other money lending bodies were not happy with him, many Nigerians were happy. They saw him as a wise president who was not ready to plunge his country into years of indebtedness. During his tenure, Abacha constructed federal secretariat across the Federation of Nigeria. Before his tenure, most federal agencies and parastatals operated from rented offices in the various states of the Federation. It was Abacha who came up with the idea of building massive structures to accommodate these agencies and parastatals in one location in each and every state of the Federation. These structures are still there in the states till today. Also, during Abacha's administration, federal medical centers were built in all the states of the Federation. These are massive hospitals designed to meet the health needs of the people of each and every state of the Federation. Chief medical directors were appointed to head the hospitals and huge investments were made in them. These hospitals are still functioning till today, and most of them have been renamed after Sanea Abacha. As of 1996, when Abacha was in power, the exchange rate was 85 naira to 1 US dollar, as against today's 700 naira to 1 dollar. Abacha reduced the external debt of Nigeria from 36 billion in 1993 to 27 billion. It was during his tenure that the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas NLNG was established in Bonny Island. He built the National Hospital Abuja and also built the Women and Children Hospital in Sokoto State. He also built the Amini Kano Teaching Hospital, Kano. Abacha invested massively in the health sector of Nigeria. Their poor legislative quarters in Abuja was also built by him. The idea of the six geopolitical zones for Nigeria was also given recognition during Abacha's regime. He increased fuel price just once in his four and a half years in office and set up the Petroleum Special Trust Fund, which was widely acknowledged to have performed well in infrastructural development and intervention programs in education, health, and water. For the people of Kano and other parts of northern Nigeria, Abacha was a hero. For the contractors who were given huge contracts by the regime, Abacha was their benefactor and a hero to them. For General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, who occupied the office of head of state before Abacha, Abacha was a savior. When Major Gideon Oka staged the coup in 1991 against the regime of Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, Abacha was the most visible senior officer who changed into combat gear and engaged the coup plotters in combat and chased them out of Dodan barracks while some of the coup plotters were captured alive and put to trial. Upon the frustration of the coup, Abacha had every opportunity to have declared himself as the new head of state of Nigeria, Babangida having escaped for safety. But Abacha refused to take over power. 
He protected the seat of power and invited Babangida via telephone call to return to his seat. Babangida returned from hiding and continued in office as a head of state. Babangida made a national broadcast and in it, he showered encomium on a badger for his forthright disposition. With this gesture, Babangida did not joke with Abacha. He saw Abacha as a man who saved his life and also saved his regime. In 1983, it was General Abacha, then a Brigadier General, who announced the military takeover of the reins of power from the civilians. It was this coup which brought the regime of Major General Muhammad Buhari and Tunde Idiabo to being. When Buhari and Idiapon derailed from the chartered course, it was again General Sane Abacha who announced their removal and the constitution of the Armed Forces Ruling Council with General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida as a military head of state. For most of the military officers whom Abacha appointed as governors, Abacha was a good man. It was Abacha who created a federal character commission to address perennial imbalances in the appointment of persons into offices in the country. Abacha played a significant role in securing peace in Sierra Leone and Liberia through the deployment of Nigerian soldiers to the warring countries. The man Abacha was like the elephant and the description of his personality depended largely on the parts of the elephant that the person describing it may have touched in person or may have been told about. Many thanks for watching this episode of Back in History and do remember to follow the page and share the video with friends and loved ones.